Whew. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Back to the show. Today, we're going to Walmart. We're back. We're back to our roots here, folks. We're starting the day off going to Walmart and then going to the farm and then hopefully shooting frogs and hopefully eating frog legs. Bonzo's excited. He's always Yo. excited. We're going to try to look for something, something unique to maybe hunt bullfrogs with. We've been trying pretty much everything that we can. We've done handguns, we've done rifles, we've done bow fishing bows. What else have we done? Is that pretty much it? Are we going to get murked by this lady? Okay, we made it past security level one. Walmart greeters. These guys are freaking animals. All right. What do we think? We haven't gig frogs. Okay. I enjoy shooting them. Like, I don't... I, I just farther away from them. Yeah, it's harder... Well, especially during the day. You can't really gig frogs during the day. I feel like that's pretty freaking impossible. But I feel like shooting them... Ooh, slingshot. Dude, that thing has a laser on it. No way. Yeah, it has a laser on it. That's funny. So I wonder if it, what are the odds it's actually accurate though? I feel like there's no way you would kill a frog with that though. Like, yeah, those are some hardy sons of guns. Like, you pretty much have to like shoot them right in the dome ski or they're just, they're gonna keep hip hopping away from me, you know what I mean? Oh God, what is that? Cheese and rice. Is that a pellet? Oh, that is a pellet gun. CO2, that'd be kind of sick. Just... We could try a pellet yeah, gun. Yeah, you need like a, the big scope ones. What if we get a, what if we get a pellet gun? Where's the old Red Rider at? Right here. Oh God, yeah. Twenty dollars. There's a four percent chance you would kill something with that. I guarantee I could shoot you and you wouldn't even hardly feel. I feel like we should try that. No. Yeah, no, we should try it. Six hundred and fifty shots. That's three hundred and fifty. You can run faster than that, Bonzo. Okay, find something that has to be at least a thousand FPS. Okay, there's eight hundred. It's twelve hundred. That's a beast. That's an absolute freaking unit right there. That would actually kill a thousand. Over a thousand will kill him. I'm not anything under a thousand. I'm not super confident about. Do we do two? Two? Yeah. What the hell you need one for? Was this kid trying to spend all my money or something? I was gonna buy one. The cheaper one, of course. Oh, but oh yeah. I'll buy this one if you get oh, one of those. Oh, oh, you should have said so. Because it's like a challenge. Oh, it's oh. like, can you do it with this one? At 350 feet per second. I'm telling you, you can run faster. Should we get the pellet gun? Because we can hunt squirrels with that thing, too. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's kind of a two-in-one. Yeah. I feel like, I don't know about, I'm not feeling this. I feel like you're just, I mean, if you want to buy it, you can go for it. It's only 20 bucks, but. What about this one? You want this one? What about this one? Because this one's actually even cheaper. 17 oh, yeah. versus 22. And it also said it's ideal for the beginner shooter bonzo beginner bonzo yep. and sam can shoot it too it's 10 plus oh oh hey right on brother all right so i think our conclusion is going to be we're going to get the we're going to get the pellet gun okay that's just for like insurance we're not going to try to just only use the pellet gun we're going to go for the buck 400 shot bb repeater daisy 300 feet per second that shoots bbs that's ideal for beginners Let's see can we get this one and then this one. This one I've got. No, it's heavy for a BB gun. Is it? Oh, really? Okay. It looks cool, though. All right, we'll, we'll get that. Yeah, we'll take that, that top. That's a little cheap one up there. And then you wanted the red tip? Yeah. And then just a thing of regular BBs for the other gun. Oh, boy. Here we go with this. Is this a real thing? This is a BB gun. Oh. oh. <laughs> So funny. Um, <laughs> Can you believe what she just said to me? I mean, I'm personally like not offended because I don't really care that much about stuff, but like you can't just go around saying that stuff. I walked up there with a BB gun and she goes, oh man, is that the real thing? I'm about to make my run for it, acting like I'm about to shoot up the Walmart. Bro, I, it's just a pellet gun. I, what is the deal? That was like, I feel like, feel like that shouldn't be, shouldn't be okay. But you know what? It's whatever. She's gonna, she's gonna go about my day. But we did okay. change our mind a little bit. We got this guy right here, which the reason why I got is because it looks a lot cooler. And it was pretty much the same, the same price. It's uh, 17, whatever, 0.177 caliber. Shoots pellets. And then Bonzo got the $17 BB gun. Yep. All right, folks. Well, made it down to the farm, and uh, well, what's up, Reese? What's up, bud? How's it going? Oh snap! Yep, that one's gonna do good. That one's gonna do good. I don't know about yours. Literally, I think we should do a challenge where someone gets shot with that thing. No. Why? It would slamming it wouldn't be that bad. It'd be like a hard airsoft. Gun. Hard airsoft gun. It'd be like a paintball. Yeah. Like, what if we like had you like give you a running start or something? No. Bear skin would hurt. Bear skin would hurt. Running start and yeah, that's pretty much it. Look at you. You got I'm like cargo pants. Yeah, you got. Yeah, good. you're good. No, you can I'm do it. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, golly. Perfect. Oh, no way this thing even fires, dude. <laughs> That's, That's going to bounce off it. of every single frog, 100%. I'm going to shoot him right in the eyes. How do you load this thing, mister? Easy. <laughs> Easy with the barrel. What do they call it? Barrel awareness? Oh, Come on, yeah. Bonzo. Get it figured out here. Load her up. I think it holds a lot. 400. So you can just you spray and pray, baby. How's that thing work? Is it just a one a one pump chump? Is that what that is? I guess. Oh kinda god. Like, kind of oh, like Bonzo. Oh! All right, is it let's see. With it. This thing or what? what are you shooting for? Just the burn the burn pile? Yeah, this is the burn pile. Okay. Yeah. Ricochets are fun. Go ahead. You can see the BB. That's how slow it is. Bro, this is not gonna <laughs> this is not gonna go well for you. I can tell you that much. Oh my, yeah, you can see it, dude. It literally just like... Alright, so now that we're done with playing with Bonzo's toy, we're gonna get to the good stuff here. This is What's this? A, a Swiss Arms TG1 sport shooting rifle. Pellet gun. Looks freaking sick, so that's why we bought it. Oh, the scope doesn't come on it. How good do you think the scope is? It's probably not bad for a BB gun. I mean, a scope's a scope, right? No, it looks fine. Dude, I feel like I'm playing COD. This is the intervention, right? Yeah. That's what it looks like? Dude, this thing is sick, though. Dude, that is. All right, let's load one of these suckers up. We got red fire, extreme accuracy, penetration, and velocity. Could use some different words. Did Rick sell us the wrong ammo or what? What the hell, Richard? Hang on. I mean, I just have to shove it in there. No. There, I got it. We might just have to clear a couple, couple yeah. rounds. Dude! Oh, oh my goodness. That thing has some recoil, dude. Actually? Yeah, like I was not... I didn't like press it hard and like it just like drilled my cheek. That was loud. What'd you shoot? I don't know. That was low, eh? No, that's bullseye. It? Hold up. You didn't know your boy was Chris. Wow. Ew! Look at the bullseye boys. We might have him dialed. I'm gonna try one more shot just to make sure. Okay. Right on. Yep. Shoot! Let me see this thing. Let me shoot She's dialed. All right, 57, three and a half shots later. We got her dialed in. She's ready. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we got a kind of a change of plans here. Jake, Trap Lord Jake gave us a call and said, hey, uh, we had a tree take out the fence line out at my other farm, and he's at work, and he needs us to go and check on the farm that Betsy's at to make sure that nothing got, no trees fell down, took out the fence, and that all the cows are out running around. If they're running around, I say Bonzo has to go get them. Lasso, lasso, what are they, what's it called? A lasso. Lasso, yeah, that's what I'll do. Well, so far, it's looking decent. We saw the neighbor actually had a couple trees that looked like they fell. They didn't ruin their fence, but they definitely down. fell down. Is that, is that new? I don't remember seeing it down. I feel like, look at all those limbs though out there. Yeah, like that, stuff's that, might, that might be new. The fence is still good though. Like I said, the neighbor had a ton of trees down, but the fence was fine. It didn't, it didn't have the fence crushed or nothing, but I guess there was some crazy wind that came through last night, which wiped a bunch of stuff out. So I'm just gonna make sure there ain't freaking cows ripping around out of the middle of nowhere and they're where they should be. Oh wow, that's wow. A, that was a marsh. Well, cows aren't out put it that way so I think we're okay there's also a, an electric fence I think right is that, is that electric no it's not electric cows are doing fine I don't why don't we should we should we go should, hop it no no no, no let's bring let's put the mule through the gate okay and go drive around I don't want to assume that it's all fine and then all of a sudden Jay calls me and says all the cows are gone and it's my fault for not looking so there's a, looks like there's a gate we could probably get the mule through and drive through the pasture a little bit just to kind of double triple check because we've only checked probably about half half of the property so far so we need to go to the other side and make sure there ain't no trees down. Well, folks, Bonzo, I have the freaking tiger over here. Let's spot it. He's like, dude, I think that's a cow on the other side of the fence. I'm like, dude, what cow? There ain't no cow. It was Betsy. Betsy was trying to run away, damn it. First off, she freaking disowns us. Second off, she's trying to leave the herd. What the hell, Bets? Not cool, man. But the other problem we have, right here? Yeah, it, was right here. it was right here. That's the problem. The fence ain't even down. What we just maybe we just need to build a uh, build a something like build a uh, build it taller maybe. So he has this fence and then there's another one. Oh, so that is a gap. Oh, I see it. No, no, it's back there. It's buried. Yeah, see it's it? down. It is down. I don't know if that's new or not, but it's down. It's his old fence. So I don't know. If so she just, so is that, okay, hold up. That's a hot fence. Yeah, that is a hot fence. So Slayman says. He says you take a piece of grass and touch it. Don't work. I think he's fooling me. Is it hot? I don't know. Touch it then with your hand. It, it. Dude, she just walked through it. How could it be hot? Just give it a flick of the wrist or something. This one right here? Yeah. Not hot. Not hot. Damn, you got balls, kid. I would not have done that. Wait, so why isn't that hot? That's my question. Is it like 
not connected up there. Um, we should probably go check that. I feel like that should be hot though, no? Yeah, yeah no, she it. literally, we watched, no, she yeah. went under. That's what she did. She, she went, went under. She went in between these two. Oh. Yeah, because she's just a little wee guy, you know? And then this is down right here. This part of the fence right here. Oh, yeah. See, that's see, that's supposed to be higher. I mean, if the fence isn't hot, the, they're just going to run through it. I mean, that doesn't really solve any problems with our whole uh, fence being down thing. They're just not on. That part, see, that part could be moved up down there. Yeah. There you go. Uh-oh, boys, I might have found it. Looky here. That needs to get pulled up down yacht. Yep. 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 That's better. Look at you. I know. I'm smart. That bottom one left him a gap, though. That's how they yeah. hopped it. All right. Well, I just called Jake the Trap Lord. He said that the fence should be on. And Bonzo should have just died right there. I know. Bummer. But we're going to probably... We need to, like, makeshift something. Because that's the only hole in the fence that has the electric fence and then the normal fence. And the normal fence isn't there is right here where Betsy is. And she clearly knows about it. So I say let's put, like, put some sticks and like just make it so she can't get through there. Yeah. I don't know, and we also need to patrol pretty much the rest of this entire property to make sure because this ain't gonna be good if any of these little cows get out, especially Betsy, we can't lose Betsy. I just love that there's cow poop on everything. Yeah. Sheesh, boys. Well, I don't know if Betsy's gonna get through that. This, this is the one that's still not working, but we tried to build a fence. I mean, we just put, Basically, she was crawling through this because, again, that wire, I picked, I found that wire in the ground, picked it up, and set it here. So, at least there is some barbed wire that runs across there. And then, this spot right here, there's a pretty big gap here. So, we threw some logs here to deter her from crawling under. I know what you guys are thinking. She can probably get through there if she wants to. I'm just trying to help out. Trying to do what I can to save the cows. But this is our makeshift fence to try to prevent her from, even if she gets outside here, maybe she won't run across. I don't know. I'm just really praying that no cows get out and we still need to check the rest of the, uh, the rest of the deal here, the whole rest of the property. But now that I know the electric fence isn't on, this should be fun. You think any cows got out? Look at this. That ain't gonna stop nothing. Why is it so, why is it so, like, it's bent. Almost as if like a cow jumped on it. Hopefully there's no cows out there. We need like a head count on these little suckers. There. Like Alright, so we have a predicament here. We're securing this and we're hearing it pop. Meaning there's electricity somewhere. And it's not here. It's not here. Is it there? <coughs> it's not the So it's gotta be that. Try that. Try the other one. You've tried the rest. No, no, no. You've tried the rest. Because it's gonna be that one. Just touch with your fingers. Didn't do anything. No way. What what's hot then? Oh, no, you did. Yeah. No, you did. I was because I was touching this and that at the same time. <laughs> it went through me. It's like no, it it's not even okay. You do. No. It's not like even that bad. Like it just like it's it's not even that it hurts. It like just scares you. No. Grab this. Okay, grab this. With this hand. Grab this. Hell no. So I hold this. You gotta grab that. Hell no! I'm grab scared. It. I don't like okay, this, okay, dude. Like just grab that thing. You gotta grab it. No, bro. I'm scared. I don't like this. I did it. I'm still alive. It's barely. Jake's probably dying at this video right now. Oh, yeah. We're trying not to die on your farm, trying to save the cows, Jake. I'm trying. Oh. That got me. <laughs> you got it. You got you pretty good? I think mine was worse. Oh, there we go. Okay. Come on. Come on. Did, it, <laughs> did it get you pretty good or not? No. Just a little. It just, it just zapped me. Look at this, though. We're out here fixing fences. That looks like a good fence to me. Still haven't figured out what's hot and what's not. Guess we'll just keep touching things so we figure it out. Well, folks, we are finally back at the farm. Hopefully, Jake's cattle, and Betsy especially, don't get out. We did all that we could. Couldn't figure out why the fence wasn't really working. It was working in some spots, not in the others. We're just gonna hope for the best. Jake gets off work here in about five hours, so we'll see. Maybe he can get it all fixed up. But anyways, we are back and ready to rock and roll with the old Walmart BB gun challenge. Bonzo's got the world's cheapest BB gun at $17, and I've got one of the most expensive pellet guns at Walmart, which was like 120 bucks. I think mine for sure will kill them. I don't know about Bonzo's though. I'd be pretty impressed if Bonzo could kill some frogs with this little BB gun of his. That's a kager. That's a kager. You gonna shoot yours first? <laughs> sure, I'll try it. Oh God, there's no way that's gonna kill it. Here, what if, here, how, Sam, how about you film and we both we both get ready? Okay. That way if you wound, I at least get a shot. Don't wound, you're ready. Ready when you are. Sam, you ready? Yep. You hit it. It definitely just bounced off of it, though. Uh, do you see him? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I got him. Oh, he's, yeah, he's Oh, he's done. He's done. Oh, God. Oh, he fell out right here. Yep, there he is. You! The old pellet gun. Well, I got the one Bonzo ricocheted off of. Hit him right neck there. That might be the exit yeah. wound. Yeah. 
I don't know, but he's dead, dude. Like he's like real dead, so I definitely hit him in the head. First one down, pellet gun one, BB gun zero. All right, we just pulled up on a freaking kager, boys. I just missed the last one. Bonzo's using the pellet gun. That thing's huge, dude. That thing could eat my dog. Hi. Is your BBs? Oh, he has a Oh my goodness. I see one in there. There's one to the left. Oh, I see that one. Here, let me shoot this one. This is yeah. a big one. Oh, you must. Got him. Right in the head. I think that's our biggest one. <laughs> Bro, that is our hugest one. Right in the head. Dude, with the bell, with the freaking pellet gun. Look how big that thing is, dude. Right now, it is two for the pellet gun, zero for the BB gun. The BB gun has missed a couple. Pellet guns killed two so far. We're eating good, baby. You gotta stay tuned. Oh, you got him. You see him? That might see be that him. right there? He's sunk. That might be him, though. It looks like a green something. Oh, then you oh. got him! You no got way. him! You got him, dude! No way! Right in the ear. I feel like that's that might be. What if that's its weak spot? Yeah. The little ear, the little. What do you call? It? I don't a, even know what that is. But I feel like this is all pretty tough to get into. You literally yeah. hit him right in that soft spot. It probably went right through his head. We got one down. That's two to one. One for the BB gun. Yep. Two for the pellet gun. And I said we get five. Five's a good number. We still need. Oh, true. We need sharpshooter McGee. Sharpshooter McGee's got to get behind the sticks. He's got to shoot the next one. Oh God, is that loaded? Can I, can I just use Do you know if it's loaded? Yeah, I'll, I'll just be your rest. Do you know if it's loaded? I have no clue. I want to check. Just gonna pull the trigger and hope for the best. Yep, it's loaded. I can tell you it's loaded if it did that. Slayman's about to freaking just snipe him. Oh wow, high. dude, that's hard to pull. That was high. That was like a real high. All right, I believe in you. Don't mess this up. Hi. All right, just aim at its feet. Okay. Because clearly I can't sight that thing in. All right, third time's the charm, Junior. You got this. You got him. He's laying there dead, yeah. dude. No kills. Dude, he's laying there dead. I've never seen one do that. Oh, headshot. Oh my gosh. Barely. Dude. You about went over that. I don't know how. You sk You just skimmed him in the head. She gone. I'm surprised they're not moving more. Like uh, you would think. Yeah. Even with the BB gun, like he was still pretty dead once we pulled him out of the water. Like yeah. he just kind of sunk and is swimming down there. But like, you know, even with when, even when we're shooting with the 22s, they they're squirming yeah, around a lot. Hit him right in the dome ski. That was a good, let me see that headshot again. Sheesh guy. How low did you have to aim? Pretty low. I was aiming really low. <laughs> <laughs> we got how many we got now? Four. So we have four. That means we got one more. Should we go to the shed? I say we go to the shed. The shed's always the juice. Is there, there's just two right here. Oh, I hit that one. I hit him. Where's he at? He's head. See him right there? Yeah. He's right there. Oh shoot. Oh, I got him. I got really? him. Yep. This is the one you shot. Yeah, that's the one I shot. He's on the right. I think I hit him right in the back. Yeah, I was gonna say there was a hole. Yeah, right there. Really? In his leg. Really? Yep. I shot that one, and it was like we knew it. We came against this corner, so we grabbed the uh, grabbed the old tank, and Bonzo got him. Look at that little guy. Boom. Well, folks. Clean the frogs, actually Slayman. Slayman cleaned the frogs. Figured we don't need to show you guys that. We've been showing you how to clean them in every single one of Frog Vista. If you guys want to know how to clean frogs, either go Google it or go click some of my other old videos. Plus it gets demonetized, it's probably a better chance to get demonetized if we clean them. So I figured, hey, keep it out. No sir, we don't need it. Anyways, we're gonna try something new. We're gonna try grown frog legs. I've never done it before. We're cooking with this, some spice, salt, pepper, and garlic spice. And we are going to uh, just kind of grill them, like grilled wings. Not like fried, but just more like grilled. So these are all the delicious frog legs that we've got here. They're all washed up, cleaned up, and ready to go on the grill. So what, what do we do, Bonzo? This is kind of your show here. Or the extra slime, this is your show. What, what do we do here? Whose show is it? I don't know, but what do we do? Okay, well, we need tin foil first. Okay. You put tin foil down, and then you okay. put your seasoning on, and then let them sit on the grill for about five minutes, and then flip them. Okay, and that's it? Yeah. Put, put some made... seasoning afterwards, too. Yeah, you put it on after, too. Oh, okay. Well, I guess let's do that. All right, step one. Tin. Boy, how? Toss them on on there. All right, Slayman, you killed it. These look great. They're all nice and clean. They don't smell like ass. So that's a, a plus. I've never had frog legs like this before. I literally think I've only fried them. So this is going to be a good change of pace for me. So you want to do a little of each? All right. Okay. Okay. You convinced me. What is this? Bold, Bold and authentic smoky. So we're going to do four and four. Three and four. Three on the bold. Three on the salt, pepper, garlic. Boom. Now you just let them rip for a bit. Yep. Turn them in five minutes, put season on the other side, and you're good to go. Shoo! The 
super freaking hot. Okay, so that's the smoky. Smoky. All right, a little SPG. Dude, this is good. This could change the game. Dude, I'm excited about this. They look good. They actually look pretty freaking fire. Not gonna lie. I was like grilled. They might be kind of like chewy and kind of gross and slimy and fishy, but I don't know, man. These look pretty fire right now. Which one should we go Sip for first? Ones. Smoky. Smoke? You want to go through Smoky first? Smoky first? Dude, it's falling off the bone. Not bad. Dude, Smoky's pretty good. The meat's perfectly cooked, though. It is. I don't know, dude. I'm not like this better than frying. Really? You can really taste the, I mean, you actually taste the meat. Mm -hmm. Frying's like, it's not bad, but it tastes like a chicken wing. This actually tastes like, not exactly like chicken. I don't know if that makes sense. It's pretty freaking good. Oh, I don't know, you let me know what you think. I, it's like, you can definitely tell you're not eating chicken. Like, I don't know, when it's fried, you're just like, it's not, it's not that much different, not that, much, that cool. Yeah. It's that's not, like, that's like juicy, yeah. it's, it's soft, it's not super chewy, it's a little bit chewier. But it, you actually taste the meat versus just tasting batter yeah. in something. I like it. That's pretty freaking good. I bet SPG is going to be better though. Yeah, SPG is good. SPG is still a little, Yeah, I don't know. That seasoning is kind of too much almost. It's over the top. It's not bad. All right, we're going in for the Megalodon here. Okay. That's better. That's way better. Oh, yeah. SPG is hard to beat, man. I have to give the SPG the double on this one. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Oh yeah, way better. I think it's better. It's peppery. It's pretty peppery. I mean, I went ham on the seasoning because I thought it. I thought you kind of needed to, but maybe I went a little too ham. It's a little peppery, but it's but not bad. I like the meat better. This the way. meat, dude. I, I'm telling. I think the meat's better. I like it better. I think we need to explore this a little bit more. Like, what if we did smoked frog legs? Like, I feel like we need to kind of step away from the batter a little bit. Yeah, step away from frying. Step away from batter and get into like smoking and grilling. Uh, how else could you cook these? Like oven roasted or something, maybe? Bake. Oh, snap. Is that legal? Bacon wrapped, Slayman says. I feel like that would be like unreal. Like frog poppers. Ooh. Jalapeno. Ooh. What if you took the meat off of it and like stuffed it in a jalapeno Ooh. and wrapped it in wow. bacon with cream cheese? Wow. That would be good. We've never even thought about like taking it off the bone. Take it off the bone and start. And then cook it some. Start dabbling a little bit. Yep. Yeah. I think we're, we're getting it figured out here. We will keep you guys updated with any new frog recipes. But if you guys are enjoying the frog leg eating, catch and cook, killing videos, let me know in the comment section down below and comment what we should do next. We've done pretty much everything. We've done BB gun. We've done 22 handgun. Normal 22 bow fishing bow we've gigged it but we've gigged them before i think one time maybe no we haven't done that probably should do that but let me know in the comments down below what if you guys are enjoying them let me know in the comment section down below what we should do next for frog fishing i mean there's an abundance absolutely unlimited amounts of frogs here at the farm and we really enjoy them i mean it's definitely one of bonzo's for yep. favorite meals of all time i mean it's they're up there for for just like going out cleaning something and cooking it right away i mean it's, just, it's super quick it's super easy frogs are like kind of at the top of the list right now for me so comment down below any other suggestions for how to cook these suckers if you guys are you know maybe you guys get, what if we did some like some southern stuff like Ooh, some jumbo cajun. some jambalaya or some cajun i or, was thinking lime on it i don't know why i was just thinking that but frog that like, tacos what, what if you put that in like a taco shell with some like cilantro and like some lime and like yeah, some we, pico de gallo so maybe i don't know we just thought about that some tacos i think like that'd be pretty good anyways i'm i'm mumbling you guys are probably tired of hearing me talk like I said, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment section. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed because the farm content is freaking lit, okay? This ain't the, this ain't the first video and it ain't going to be the last video. So you guys stay tuned to the next farm vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.